Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunderbus Lure Company. It is so good to see you and welcome to today's episode of Thunderbus Fishing Tips. I'm here with the boatless angler. We've got Antonio with us today and he's jigging. Right now, yep. You're right now you're jigging, but we did bring some row bags here, folks, and we're going to do some bottom bouncing. At least I'm going to open up with bottom bouncing today. We're out here fishing uh, the mouth of the uh, Niagara River, the lower Niagara, at Lake Ontario. And uh, I'm in about, I'm in 19 feet of water right now, and the water temperature is 33 degrees, so it's cold. It's the month of April, and we're looking for brown trout today, folks. And I'm going to, I'm going to just be bottom bouncing this row bag. And you've seen my bottom bounce rig before. I've got a T-turn on. It always starts with the Thundermist T-turn. And I've got the small size T-turn on. And that's going to keep me tangle free out there. No line twist, no tangles. And that's exactly what I want when I'm bottom bouncing. And, uh, and I've got a row bag. I tied a bunch of row bags last night. And I just poked the row bag right through the hook. Uh, don't worry about if you pop an egg or not. It just releases a little extra scent. And there's nothing wrong with that. And... Uh, I'm using a size 6 octopus style hook. I like the octopus style hook when I'm running uh, row bags because it sits nicely with the row bag and it has a good, a nice uh, hook gap as well. And uh, someone had wrote in and said, when you're bottom bouncing, I seem to get snagged up a lot. Well, the thing, the key with the bottom bounce, folks, the sinker has to be just heavy enough to just maintain bottom contact. If it's too heavy, it's going to want to lodge in the rocks. If it's too light, it's going to want to flow it up into the current so it has to be just heavy enough and then the other thing folks when you're when you're bottom bouncing as you feel a rock that you're coming up to a rock like this and and you feel the sinker kind of hit it you can help the sinker out a bit by just lifting your rod a little bit and just bouncing it up just like that just bounce it up and just help that sinker get up and over that rock uh, that'll help a lot too and then of course if you tie a lighter line to your sinker uh, if your sinker does get hung up you don't lose the whole rig uh, with a lighter line to your sinker, the sinker line will break and your main line will stay intact. So, um, a couple of things to keep in mind when you're bottom bouncing. And today, folks, we're just drifting. So, as we're bottom bouncing, I'm just going to keep my rod tip and then, like I say, just bounce it up every so often if I feel that I'm, I'm uh, coming into a rock that I just need a little bit of help with. And uh, we're looking for some nice brown trail today. So, folks, so stay tuned. So, glad you could join us. It's going to be a great day. The sun's just coming out. And uh, I brought a lot of row bags, so... So I should change up at some you, point? You can at some point, okay? I know you like the jig, but we'll see how it goes. Sure. <laughs> the, 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 jig, the jig strikes first, folks. Yep. The boatless angler strikes first. Okay, make it turn that. Okay, what are you running? I didn't even ask you what you're running. I got a flexi jig on with a paddle tail. Flexi jig and a paddle tail. Yeah. wonder what you got. I don't know. Hey, we're in uh, 20 feet of water. It feels like a laker, to be honest. Really? Yeah. It's early for lake trout, but it's just fighting like a lake. Yeah, we're yeah. Uh, middle of April, and uh, the lake trout will start to move in. They start to move in in, in around the middle of April, so it could be a laker. Or it's a big walleye, but I think it's a laker. <laughs> okay, we'll see. <laughs> no, it's a laker. It's a nice lake trout, actually. Beautiful laker. Look at him go. He's thrashing down there. <laughs> that's a good that's a good one. Is it? Yeah, it's a good one. Decent fish. Oh beautiful colors on them. Just beautiful, beautiful colors on them. Look at that. Super, super nice. Okay. We just said hi to Kyle in the other boat there. Kyle always brings us good luck. Okay, there you go. There you go. That's a nice lake trout. Okay, while well, you're taking them off the hook, I managed to pick up a little bit of weed there. Okay, there we go. Get my line back down there. Keep a line wet. That's a nice size lake trout. Not too big, not too small. Hey, okay, just a beautiful, beautiful laker. Need the needle nose? Nope. Nice fish. Hey. Okay. That's a nice Lake Ontario lake trout right there. Healthy, good belly on them, nice colors. <laughs> That's a beauty. Oh, nice, nice release. <laughs> you got me a little splash too, right in the face. <laughs> With that one. Oh, that was nice. You're gonna keep jigging, aren't you? I am, yeah. It's I'm gonna, yeah? You got the black head on. Yeah, just a little paddle tail. Nice little paddle tail on the flexi. Yeah, well, for sure. That's a great. That's a great combo. 
Well, this time of year, they're feeding on bait fish. Bait fish is the main forage out here. So they're going to be feeding on bait fish, and you got a bait fish imitating minnow on there. Okay, what do you think, Antonio? Yeah, let's go. Call it? Yep. Okay, what we're going to do, folks, we gave it a good couple hours out here. Sun's starting to make its way out now. And uh, Antonio, short of that one lake trout, that's been about it. The browns don't seem to be holding out here today. So you know what, folks? We're going to head into the river and we're going to bottom bounce a little bit for uh, steelhead for maybe an hour before we call it a day. The sun's starting to come out now. Most of the boats have left already because uh, just one of those days out here today. So time to change gears. And once in a while, you need to do that. Yeah, of course. But you know what? There's steelhead in the river. Let's go see if we can pick ourselves up a steelhead or two before we call it a day. Sounds good. All right. <laughs> looks like the looks like the move paid off, folks. Okay, this is our the sun come out. This is our second drift. First drift I lost a beauty. And here's our second drift, and I'm into another fish. Antonio. Yeah? Wanna land him? pickup just on the drift we're in 24 it's 24 feet of water right here folks 24 feet okay feels like a good fish <laughs> nice <laughs> I love it when they run like that oh he's down there though now I am running now the other thing I wanted to quickly mention they're talking about staying out of snags the other thing that I like to do is I have a longer line than my sinker and a shorter line than my hook so I got about a two foot line to my sinker and then just a couple inches shorter line to my hook. So that keeps the hook out of the snags and off the bottom, but yet still in the strike zone. Oh, nice that's one. Hey, did you see him? Yeah. You got a glimpse of him, did you? Oh boy, this is unbelievable. Now, that's what you got to do sometimes, right? Maybe we wasted a little too much time at the mouth. We could have been up here. Two drifts, two fish. Fishing is never time wasted. No, that's true. You're absolutely <laughs> right. Being out there was nice, but you notice there's a lot of boats behind us. All the boats moved into the river. Oh, that's a beauty. That is one nice steelhead right there. Look at that fish. Oh, yeah. You got one too? Oh, we got a double going here, folks. Okay. <laughs> now, you switched up. You put a row bag on, I didn't did, you? I did, yes. Yeah, okay. You took the jig off. After that, after that one that I missed. Wow. Double header. Okay. Oh, let's get this. I would love to get a photo of this guy. That's a beautiful, beautiful steely right there. What a nice steelhead right there, folks, eh? Isn't that a beautiful fish? That's what Niagara River fishing's all about. All right, I'm gonna put him in the live well. We're gonna snap a photo of him and we're gonna get him back in the water again. But let's get Antonio's fish. Okay, Antonio, let me get some water in that live well. How's yours? Feel like a good one, too? Uh, I don't think it's as big as yours. No? I, I mean, I didn't get a chance to even look at yours. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. You just set the hook. I get my hook out of the net here so that we could land yours. Okay. Yes, we made a good move, folks. We made a good move. Okay. But you're right. We could have stayed out in the mouth and just enjoyed it out there, but... Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice shaker. Oh, yeah. That's about the same size as mine, Antonio. Oh, he's all wrapped up. Tangled up. That's good. It'll be easier to land. <laughs> there we go. That's a nice steel head. Look at that. So I did all right with those row bags, didn't I? <laughs> nice. Now I noticed I tied two different colors. I tied pink bags and orange bags. And you went for the pink right away. Yep. You like the pink over the orange, Love eh? It. That's a nice steel head too. Look at that. That is a beauty. Two, two really nice fish. That's fantastic. You know what, Antonio? We're going to snap a photo yeah, of it. you and I with both those fish for Facebook and Instagram, okay? Sure. 
But you know what, folks? I think, okay, that's our second drift. First one, one fish and a miss. Second drift, two fish. You know what we're gonna do? Snap a photo, and we're gonna keep drifting. We've got the whole day ahead of us, but you know what, folks? Spring fishing for steelhead. Put them in there, we'll snap a photo quickly. Bottom bouncing, folks. Spring fishing, steelhead. Originally, we wanted to go for browns. We changed our game plan, and I'm glad we did because now we're gonna have ourselves a great day with these steelies. All right, folks, I want to thank you ever so much for tuning in to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. If you haven't been out lately, get a line wet. Get out there and enjoy some of the great weather and great fishing we have. And until next time, good luck and good fishing. Double header. Nice. You gotta love that.